G'day fellas, it's the TV here once again. And Bonehead. Today we're basically going to go through the new free-to-play system for Star Wars The Old Republic and um, giving you guys sort of an idea for people who are new to the game uh, what we feel is is probably the best, best sort of balance between going completely free-to-play and paying a little bit of money up front to get as many of the bonuses as you possibly can. And by a little up front, we literally mean just a little. You know, for a lot of you people out there, you probably pay more for sweets or some of us, we pay more for cigarettes. So the system that we're th thinking about doing here is we're having a look at the cartel coins and what sort of benefits you can get, which ones are permanent, which ones are just a temporary thing. And the ones we've come up with that are the best options for new players and for recurring players who are coming off being a subscriber and going to the to the free to play system. Well both benefit from either side really because yeah. both need the same things essentially. Yeah, exactly. So um, going through a few of the things, once once you get into the game as a free to play player, there are a couple of things that we suggest you get. Um, basically we're looking at spending about ten dollars up front and that's it and that'll unlock all of the things that we'll go into here so the first thing that we're talking about buying is additional quick bars so for those of you playing MMOs previously you've got all your quick bars for all of your abilities and as we all know currently right now you only have two quick bars and that's on the bottom for a lot of people, especially myself, that is nowhere near enough. I like my sidebars. So this is the first thing both me, myself, and Bonehead here would be getting. Yeah. To add on to that, by being a free-to-play or the next step up, you have an EXP deduction compared to a subscriber. So the second thing we think everyone should get, just even as a filler point to uh, to go over that $5 limit to become a priority, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, to be over a priority standard is the five pack of the EXP boosts. It brings your EXP back up so that you won't be left behind if you're playing with a friend who's a subscriber. Yeah, so the XP boosts, they basically give you three hours of gameplay with 25% increased XP gain, and you get a five pack of those for 480 points. Um, as well as that, one of the things to help you along we thought it would be good early on is to get a week pass for the space missions. Um, the space missions are good if you're working on a planet, um, working your way through the quests, you find them getting a bit hard, you can jump back to doing space missions um, to help level yourself up to get strong enough to be able to continue on the planet. But we emphasize don't use this early on. You know, don't waste it unless you really need to grind three or four levels of experience out. You know, and that we're talking about the third or fourth planet, yeah. Yeah. whichever one you are, if you're on um, the light side or the dark side. With the weekly pass, there is no limit to how many times you can do your space missions, and there's with the EXP boost as well, there's nothing to duck it. So you'll eventually catch up, and then you can continue back on, or you can continue for the week and be ahead that many levels so that you don't get caught behind again. Now, the best thing about just buying those three items is that will get you high enough points that will actually unlock you for what I think is called preferred status in the game. Now, so it's $10 to get that in the system. No, it's only 5 Oh, 5 to get that. And then, but the, the thing we're going on here is the $10 amount to get those three items. Now, by just getting those items, you unlock so many things by just being on that preferred status. If you're going to play free to play, you want to get to that preferred status to get you a whole bunch of, of free extras that you wouldn't normally have if you were just playing the normal free to play, not spending a cent. Um, first thing of that, sprint, which is good. It just gets you around so much faster when you're out questing on planets. And the next is the high priority login. For example, if there's an event going on on the server and everyone's jumping in to try and do their dailies or whatever they bring out with it, if you're a pure free-to-play that hasn't been put onto the preferred list, you're probably not going to get it. Yeah, you so know, you're, you're sitting around waiting for a long time. <laughs> that's, you, yeah, you get in after the event, but couldn't guarantee getting in for the event. So the next thing you'll also unlock just by being a preferred 
is you get a cargo hold on your spaceship. So what you find is once you've finished questing on the first planet, um, you actually get you get your own your own ship that you can travel between planets everywhere. And um, in the free to play, you have no cargo hold, so you have nowhere to stash all the items that don't fit in your normal inventory. So by just becoming preferred status, you automatically get a cargo hold. Which, if you were to buy it by itself, the ability to even have a cargo hold is a 480 cartel coin thing. Yeah, so why why pay the extra when you're going to get it just by being preferred status? And once you get preferred status, you're locked into that. So any new character or anything you're doing, it's, it's preferred status straight away. Next item on the list. Okay, now the next is the credit limit. It's an awkward thing to have, but I can understand why they have it. For being preferred, your maximum credit limit is increased from 200k to 350k. I honestly believe this needs to be raised a bit more. And they might adjust it anyway as, as they keep going with the free-to-play system. We're in early days yet, so hopefully there's a few things that we'll talk about later on that we're hoping that they will add or change. Um, just to make it things a little bit better. Um, the next thing along as well, things like a, a free-to-play player can't actually talk in the general chat in the game, whereas uh, I think you can on like the first planet just to ask questions. Yeah. And then after that, you're locked out of the general chat. By becoming preferred status, straight away you have access to the general chat. Also, mail. Mail, when you're on purely free-to-play, you can only receive the mail. You can't send it. When you go to a preferred status, you can send and receive, but the only limitation you really have is that you can only put one item into a mail at one time. And you can't send credits through the game. Yeah. Either. But that's fine. This uh, Just having that unlocked, to be able to send and receive mail with attachments in it is, is a great unlock for free by just becoming the preferred status. Um, you can also get preferred status by, if you don't want to spend the cartel coins doing it that way, you could go on to having a subscription just for one month to try it out, because once you've had a month's subscription, you automatically get preferred status as well. Um, the next thing as well, as long, along with the mail and sending and receiving, is you can actually trade with other players. You walk up to someone, you can trade items. Yep. Um, that unlocks at level 10 for a preferred status. It's unlocked all the time for subscribers. But you cannot trade whatsoever if you are in the standard free-to-play, the lowest level, the lowest tier. Now, to continue on with the trading, when you are free to play, you only have access to two daily items on the galactic trade market. When you go to a preferred status, you can put up to five a day, which raises it up enough that if you're not playing the market, you've got enough there when you need it to. Yeah, so, so it, it, it's not a complete, uh, like, I think it's like 50 items if you're on um, subscription, yeah, which is a lot. And if you're in there trading that much sort of thing, I mean, five items a day is enough to get you by. And I mean... You're only spending in this situation, you know, five to ten dollars up front, and then you've unlocked this forever for free. So, yeah, so yeah, not not much to complain about there. 